Hi Virgo, welcome to your week ahead Tarascope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. Let's get straight to it. So before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your <clears throat> key to the week this week, you have dun, 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 the... Ooh. Okay. The Fool. New things, new places, people, energies. The Fool is actually one of my favourite cards. Um, I have three. Uh, because, because, because. Um, but yeah, I love the Fool card because it brings a freshness. It brings a newness. It brings... Oh, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? It brings a, uh, a freshness, a newness, but it also brings a... Um, it brings new lease on life. It's like a reset button. And what it suggests is the universe is gonna find a way to surprise you in all of these different areas of life that we're gonna look at over the course of this week. The other thing with the full card, um, remember this very often shows up as a moment of destiny that we don't recognize as such at the moment. Um, so be mindful of that, right? Now, wow, look at that, right? The ace, uh, the full card with the 10 of cups, that is, a big abundant blessing of some sort that comes in potentially into the home and or the family. This is some kind of really wonderful, great news. For those of you that are trying to conceive, this could be a baby. For those of you that are looking to purchase a home, this is some very good news around that fact. Uh, for those of you, because your actions and options is about what you do. And this does suggest that in some way, shape or form, you are creating a new community in some sort of some sort. Maybe you're joining a new community. Maybe you're getting a new host of students. Maybe you're getting a new... Um, maybe you're joining a new exercise class, it, whatever the case might be, there is a new connection that feels almost like a familial tie that is coming in for you this week and you are going to love it. It's gonna be a really, really great week, um, it, you know, just from these two cards alone. The other thing is as well, your options, or should I say the options that are available to you, there is support coming in from what feels like a community. Um, now, it could be a brand new one, but it is likely to be support that comes to you from people that you, you kind of, you know when a friend goes out of their way to help you with something or to share something with you and you're like, you feel like really touched because you're like, oh my God, like you didn't have to do that for me. But like the fact that you did just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. Um, so I love this, but lots of options available to you. So in your communication sector, you have the 10 of wands. So what do we see here? Two tens. Two tens represents, uh, change and usually a big change at that. Now, the Ten of Wands, in terms of your communications, uh, two things to be mindful of. One, people or things that talk at you instead of to you. And two, not being the person that talks at someone instead of to them. Uh, the other thing is as well with the Ten of Wands, so this can be uh, a card of, a basically it shows up when there are burdens that are being released and it also shows up when there are potentially things that need to be dealt with in the here and now. Now because this shows up as your communications, it does suggest that there are conversations that are taking place this week that could actually help you find solutions, especially if you go at it from a, a group perspective or at least just not on your own. It does also suggest for some of you that there is potentially talks around a move or a change of home or property. For some of you, this might not necessarily be a change of property, but it might be that your boss or your, uh, maybe, so for those of you that are studying, your uh, teachers, your lecturers, etc., could come to you and say, by the way, we're moving our classroom. For those of you that are employed by somebody else, this could literally be your boss saying, oh, uh, you know, we're moving, the, you know, the company is moving the building, they've uh, found a cheaper alternative, etc., whatever it might be. For those of you that are studying, this is you. This is like a group project or endeavor that you didn't expect. And at first you're gonna be quite hesitant. You'll probably be like, oh gosh, you know, I've got to work in a group with these people. I really don't want to. And before you know it, literally like five, six days, well, let's say around two weeks in, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing since sliced bread. I, why didn't we do it sooner? For those of you that are um, employed by somebody else, 
I love this. There is a change to the location that you work in and it's potentially as well, for those of you that work for bigger companies, it might be because the head office decides to change their location. I wonder for a lot of you as well, if like, let's say your HR department and your um, head office is in one location and your company is in, uh, like your branch of the company is in another, I wouldn't be surprised if those start to meld now. Um, so look out for that this week. For those of you that are, um, ooh, for those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, this is lovely. There's a change coming into your business that brings happiness, brightness. It brings a fresh take on everything and it potentially helps you solve a long-term problem that you have been looking at for a while. Uh, another way that this could show up is literally you're moving your office around, all right? Uh, for your love and relations, you've got the Hierophant card. If you are single, so for those of you that are newly seeing someone or you are are partnered but you're just boyfriend and girlfriend boyfriend and boyfriend girlfriend and girlfriend this could be where you would make it official where somebody proposes that is look at that that's like a happy surprise and a commitment that exists so literally for some of you maybe you're becoming parents possible for others this could be where your significant other or you propose to your partner and you make it official if you're newly seeing someone you could literally be making it official where you say oh by the way I'm off the market, you know, I'm, I'm taken. For those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, this is a change that comes to the relationship that is very welcome. And with that Hierophant card, there's something here that you are solidifying for your future. And for me, this centers around either finances or property or land. It'll, it'll, it'll be around those things uh, that you and your partner, marriage partner, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, husband, wife, etc. Um, you, there's something here that you are making like real world official because uh, and if you're already married it's not that right so it's got to be property but something that has like a financial slant to it as well and then finally when it comes to those of you that are single it's going to be through your group associations that you will find someone uh, quite possibly you know because you've got the ten of wands here so I wouldn't be surprised if this was through some kind of uh, you know um like group endeavor where you're connecting with people uh what, like a project that you're working on together uh you know maybe even where there's just a get together of your family and your people maybe one of them brings a friend along and you get talking to the friend and you know it's all of that so love 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 for your money and materials you have the four of cups so out of all of this the four of cups is the one that potentially brings the it brings the mood down a little bit and this does suggest in your financial sector at least you might have been in a little bit of a slump that's about to come to an end so keep the energy and the vibration high when it comes to your money it looks like a lot of you are doing a lot of internal work around money so clearing money blocks doing your energy work saying your mantras doing your manifesting really making a solid practice out of shifting your internal reality so that you can welcome in more money wealth and, and resources so i love that when it comes to your physical health and vitality, um, a lot of you, it looks like there's gonna be a dietary change this week. Um, you might notice that there's a certain thing that you eliminate from your diet this week and it's not until the end of the week that you look back and you're like, huh, I haven't had that all week and I actually feel really great. So it probably won't be something that you consciously do. It will be like a process of elimination retrospectively. Uh, and then finally, when it comes to your home and environment, I mean, it's a four, so it's a good number for home anyway, but it's the four of cups. And so this does suggest maybe that you're looking at the home and starting to say, right, well, you know what, we've made some great memories here, or I, you know, I love the house or whatever, but I feel like it's time to start preparing to be elsewhere. Or at least for some of you, maybe you start thinking about extending or changing the home in some way, shape or form. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.